Hi guys, Paul and Thomas here. Hello. And today we're going to do a different video for you. Uh, it's going to be a little bit about, it's something that we've had questions on and it's created some degree of confusion. Uh, and it's to do with your camera angle that you're actually running and it's got to do with when you do rolls and some of the movements you do that don't quite make sense. Yeah. So uh, uh, some of the people, some people that sort of analyze the videos quite carefully have um, made comments about this and I've explained it in the comments what's going on but I thought it might be worthwhile doing a video and just explain and show exactly what it is you're doing. We call it, you, well you call it inverse yaw, don't you? I call it inverse yaw. I mean, it's, I really don't have a proper name for it but yeah, that's well, what I'm calling well, it. Now. What we'll do, we'll get the quad up and start flying and we can talk about rolls and maybe over-unders and show exactly what it is that you're talking about. Yeah, so let's get this fired up. Okay, we're good to go. It's a bit breezy but we'll, we'll see how we go. Show this. Hopefully the audio is still okay out of the uh, GoPro. So let's take off. If I can get the goggles centered on my face. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with your sticks, okay? Yep. Okay. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about what it is that you're doing? Okay, so pretty much when I moved to 30 degrees camera tilt, an issue I ran into was when I was doing rolls, and keep that in mind at this time I was into cinematic flying, the issue I had was whenever I do a roll, the camera would always end up looking in completely the wrong direction. So like, for example here I'm level, see the camera's looking down and the camera's looking back up. That's just with roll input. So what I figured out to work around with this was to put in the opposite your input to what your roll input is. So if I'm rolling left, I'm going to put right your and it keeps the camera kind of straight. So instead of yawing in the same direction as you roll, you're doing an inverse yaw, is that correct? Yes, and that's why I call it inverse yaw, because it allows you to keep the camera perfectly centered. So for example, a centered roll would be like that normally, inverse yaw, like that. That wasn't a very good one, but pretty much it just helps to keep objects centered the whole time. Now, Thomas uses movements. this a lot uh, with the cinematic shots that he does. Um, we've done it with, like, you've gone through things, you've done a roll, and the rolls actually look like an aircraft roll, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, you've also used it a lot with trees where you're framing things. Yeah. Uh, we also did it with the motorbike one, didn't you, when you were filming the I motorbikes? I did. So, I'll actually insert the video of that, where um, he was following the motorbikes, and his rolls Five. all also Five. incorporated the actual motorbike Two. within the frame the whole time, didn't they? Zero. Yeah. So and here's another use for them too, uh, over-unders, so inverse yaw for the half roll and then you just pull up smoothly and you get a really nice clean over-under that looks really cinematic. So and if you can well. imagine, when the quad's going over the tree, the tree, it's actually pointing downwards but the camera's pointing straight and as soon as it goes inverse yaw, the quad is actually pointing up now as it's going over the tree but the camera is still level. You landing? Yep. Let's bring her in. Nice. So, so essentially, it's just trying to get that camera angle just right, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and pretty much that is its main purpose, really. I mean, um, in racing, I haven't really found a solid place to use it yet. Um, but for the acro, uh, with cinematic flying is where it really comes into its own because it just allows you to frame things really nicely And if you can really balance your yaw and roll then you can even do some other crazy stuff too So anyway, look we'll leave the video with that. Uh, hopefully that sort of explains it I'm not sure whether people are interested in these sorts of video They're little subtle things that happen that you may not be aware of uh, If you want us to cover some of these we can in the future So I'm not sure whether this is a worthwhile video or not, but look hopefully you guys found it useful yeah. Anyway, thanks for taking time to watch this video, and we will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. <laughs> oh, they're fighting. Are they mating? Oh. I think they have your hanky panky. <laughs> Gosh, China. Back. <laughs> yep, they'll land this tree again. Here we go. Okay, I was one's gone away. They're doing drone racing, uh, bird racing.